Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. And I wanted to show these attacks from the PWC war on our bases because it's something that us in Genesis haven't quite started using yet, but it's a uh, bowler minor combination attack. And you'll see in these attacks that uh, they're bringing 10, 13 miners. I mean, these are big investments. So, uh, you, I mean, you might have seen minor attacks, you might have seen bowler attacks, but really combining them at Town Hall 11 is something I didn't expect, but uh, it worked out very nicely on some of our uh, Town Hall 11s, and these are, you know, pretty much maxed out bases besides a few things. So, um, and they're obviously going to be good bases. Uh, this is like an arranged war, so we're really putting forward our best bases, and they're still uh, crushing them with these minor bowler combos. So, uh, shout out to uh, Zaltarius and Coldius for letting me show their bases and the attacks on their bases, uh, being good sports about that. So, I appreciate it uh, to those two guys. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at these attacks because they were pretty interesting to me at least. Um, and like I said, I wanted to show them uh, just just to get this out there. See if uh, this is something that people, you can let me know in the comments if you guys have been seeing this or not. But anyway, on this one, drops down the golem, a few healers on it. Then the uh, the bowlers kind of all around like a wall of them to clear out kind of a funnel. And the main group of bowlers up the middle along with all three of his heroes uh, rages them up has the pre-poison, doesn't have any jumps, like take a look at that, but he uh, pops the warden's ability and he's confident that the queen will sit back and get that inferno because notice how nothing else will target it, the bowlers can't reach it, uh, so the queen gets the inferno, that's good. Uh, you might have missed them, but the miners at the top there, they're being targeted by the eagle right now, uh, though it goes down, uh, but the miners come in at the top and they just kind of start uh, making their way through. Uh, they're underground, so it's hard to target them even for the eagle. And uh, they'll just kind of make their way around on that right side there. Uh, they're by the army camp that just went down. Uh, meanwhile, the main group of bowlers are kind of breaking through the walls. Has the warden, the king, the queen, all that sitting back uh, doing some damage. Uh, but the bowlers actually move quicker towards the end of the attack because uh, they can't be, uh, or they can go under walls. So uh, watch them right there. They're on the DE storage. Uh, starting to get thinned out a little bit, but uh, those level 4 miners actually are pretty tanky. So they're going to get a few more defenses before they go down, plus some of the healers peeled off onto them. Uh, so the bowlers kind of went one way, the miners went the other. Worked out very nicely, and it's a good kind of complementary troops because the bowlers are limited in their range, especially once they get stuck behind walls, whereas the miners, you can send them in at any part of the base, and they will take out uh, anything, to, you know, regardless of where the walls are because they are not affected by them. So the miners even got in there, got the inferno. They last for way longer than you would think. Uh, because they're underground, so they're typically you're not going to see them as much, but they stay alive for a long time. I will take a look at one more on Coldius, like I said. Uh, once again, has those anti-bowler uh, inferno compartments, which are very popular now. Uh, so goes ahead and drops down a giant few wizards, uh, just to take out a few trash buildings for later. Uh, but he's going to start with the queen walk. Pretty good value on this queen walk, actually. Um, for the price of just the healers that he already needs for his bowlers anyway. Uh, so pretty much not no price, just the funnel troops. That's all it costs him because he has his queen anyway, obviously. Uh, takes out a pretty good section of this base. Uh, just takes, you know, 30, 45 seconds to do so. But that's a sacrifice you can make. Uh, starts in with the golem on the other side to start tanking for some of that point defense. That way his queen isn't going to get too much on her uh, and helps a few wizards uh, to create the funnel. So anyway, uh, at this point, he's just about ready to send in his bowlers in that top compartment. Uh, so a few wall breakers to let everything in as soon as that wizard tower targets the queen. And uh, right here goes the warden, uh, a few bowlers for the funnel, and then his king in the main group of bowlers right up the gut of the base. Um, has two jumps and three rages. So you don't see people bringing heals like, like they do in mass minor attacks, mainly just the bowler spells. Uh, but he does rage up his miners. You'll see the miners go in on the left side right there. Uh, they just took down the warden. Now they're moving into like the archer tower. They're getting actually great value. They're going to take out a number of defenses. And this also helps funnel his bowlers uh, deeper into the base because they're helping to kind of uh, cut the sides off that huge compartment in the middle there. Uh, so they do hit a few giant bombs, which will take them out pretty quickly. But they kind of get their job done, clear out the entire left side of the base besides that little bottom area. A few of them still up. Meanwhile, the bowlers kind of went to the other side of the base, uh, taking care of all of that, and that next jump will let them into the Inferno Tower, uh, so it works out nicely there. Not a huge uh, 
contribution by the miners, but they do enough. I mean, they got in there, they got some of those core Teslas. You can see this, um, our giant bomb placement uh, by Coldius right there was pretty crazy. It has like the five giant bombs all in that one area. Uh, so didn't quite work out here, although it could, uh, if you get lucky, could blow up quite a few bowlers. Uh, but anyway, made his way through the base. Things are kind of thinning out here, but still has the queen's ability plus the warden. And typically that's going to be a successful end game uh, combination there. Pops the queen's ability. She'll get that inferno taken out. Um, there's only a few more defenses. We'll go ahead and fast forward. But anyway, I wanted to show these two attacks because uh, it was really something that I haven't seen yet. Maybe you guys have seen it more than I have, but uh, obviously the bowlers, the miners, are probably the two most powerful troops at Town Hall 11. And as you saw in the recap, we're seeing Town Hall 11 swag spells, uh, pretty crazy stuff. People are uh, finding some interesting ways to use these two new troops. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm not going to start calling for a nerf because let's see where base building goes. Um, I might have prematurely like talked about them needing a nerf in one of my videos, but I want to sit back, kind of see how things uh, t shape up because Town Hall 11 and even Town Hall 10 are so dynamic right now. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Drop a comment for anything you want me or the other viewers to know. And uh, yeah, we'll see where this uh, Town Hall 11 game takes us. But right now, uh, we're seeing some bowler minor combos, uh, especially by uh, PWC. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.